The Mayflower Water Treatment Works is Southwest Water's pioneering approach to treating drinking water in the Southwest. It's a global first in terms of how we treat drinking water uh, now and into the future. This project's been about 10 years in the making. Uh, I've been involved for around five or six years uh, doing some of the research and then helping to get this to the point that it is now where we're just about to start commissioning this full-scale treatment works. For the water that supplies Plymouth, the raw waters that we have to treat all come from surface sources. So we have Boratore Reservoir, which is a reservoir up on Dartmoor. We have the River Tavy and the River Tamar. In a traditional treatment works, we tend to add a lot of chemicals to the water and then we settle out some of the impurities before filtering it through sand. In this process, we've taken a different approach where we use suspended anion exchange to remove a lot of the dissolved organic carbon from the water, the stuff that gives water a colour. We then use a very small amount of chemical afterwards to uh, flocculate the remaining impurities. And then rather than using a sand filter, we use a ceramic membrane. These ceramic membranes are the next step forward in membrane technology. So it's been really good being able to collaborate with water experts from around the world, particularly from the Netherlands. They have similar challenges to us and we've been able to learn from each other and help each other to develop the most robust processes possible. So one of the important things with this technology is we wanted something that would last uh, for a very long time um, and the type of membranes that we're using here are a kind of a solid stone or ceramic monolith. Naturally they are very robust and, uh, and long lasting so we have a guarantee for 20 years but really we think uh, they'll last indefinitely. They've been used now for over 20 years in Japan with no failures or breakages. So initially my role was around researching this technology, so we built a small scale treatment works called a pilot plant so that we could actually test these processes specifically for those raw waters. I think it's really important for the Southwest that we, uh, we have innovative technologies. We need to encourage young engineers and scientists into this industry and, and innovation is all about doing things better, more efficiently, more sustainably for the long term. Innovation is really the key to our business.